Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the leak code question Find the smallest divisor given a threshold. Alright, so in this question we're going to be given an array of integers uh, called nums and we're also going to be given an integer value called threshold. We will choose a positive integer divisor and divide all the array by it and sum the result of the division. All right, so basically we're going to be choosing a number and this number is going to be our divisor. So what we're going to do is let's say uh, this over here is our integer nums. And let's say we have uh, chosen a number three. So three would be considered our divisor. Now we're going to divide each of the numbers by three and then we're going to sum it up. Okay, and that's what we want to do. And now after doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to compare that with our threshold value. So after that, we want to find the smallest divisor such that the result mentioned above is less than or equal to the threshold. So in simple words, we want whatever value there is that is closest to the threshold. So ideally, we want something which gets us exactly equal to the threshold. But if that's not the case, we want something which is closest to it, but it has to be smaller than our threshold. Okay, so each result of division is rounded to the nearest integer greater than or equal to the division. So for example, seven divided by three is going to be equal to three. So we're basically gonna round it up to the uh, nearest integer value and 10 by two equals five. Okay, so it is guaranteed that there will be an answer. So we don't need to worry about the fact where we don't have an answer. All right, so let's just look at this uh, question over here real quickly. And the numbers we have is one, two, five, and nine. So let's talk about the smallest divisor we can have. So the smallest divisor that we could possibly have is going to be the number one. So why is it the number one? So when you have the number one, what's going to happen? You divide each number by one. And when you divide something by one, it stays at the same value. So in this case, when you divide everything by one, it's still going to be same as one, two, five, and nine. So our maximum va value, which we would get, is going to be one plus two plus five plus nine, which gives us a value of 17. So 17 is actually bigger than our threshold. So that means we want to look for a bigger divisor. And the reason we're looking for a bigger divisor is because bigger the divisor, smaller our answer. So for example, now let's so, say we go with a divisor of two. So in this case, we would do one divided by two, and that gives us 0 0.5, but we're gonna round it up to one. So now we have one, now we're gonna do two divided by two, which is also one, so now we have a total sum of two. Then we have five divided by two, which would give us 2.5, so we're gonna round that up to three. So in this case, we're going to have three plus two, so now we have a total of five. And finally, nine divided by two is gonna be 4.5, so we're gonna round that up to five, and now we got an answer of 10. So 10 is also greater than our threshold. So now we're gonna change our divisor to three. So now we're gonna get some value, then we're gonna do four and so on and so forth. But in this case, the correct answer is when we get the value five. So let's just say uh, we have a divisor of four. So when you have a divisor of four, we get a sum of seven, and seven is just right above the threshold. And now when we use a divisor of five, the sum ends up becoming five, okay? And that's the answer uh, that we're going to end up outputting because that is closest to the threshold while still being smaller than it. So now let's kind of talk about how can we solve this question. So one thing we could do is we can go through all of the divisors possible and come up with the closest or best solution from that. But how exactly do we choose a solution, so, right? So what, do we, what are the bounds to a possible solution? So the smallest value, like we talked about earlier, is going to be one. The smallest value is always one. And the biggest value of a divisor that we could possibly have is going to be whatever the maximum value is inside of nums. So how does that make sense? So in this case, the maximum value is going to be the number nine. So in this case, when you divide everything by nine, so when you do one by nine, you're gonna get zero point something, okay? But in that case, what's gonna happen, that just rounds up back to one. So two divided by nine is after rounding, it gives us a value of one. Same for five by nine. And in that case, when you have the maximum number, nine divided by nine is also going to be equal to one. So that is going to be our upper bound. The upper bound is gonna be whatever the maximum number is inside of nums. And when you divide everything by that number, you're going to get a value of one. So in this case, dividing everything by nine, our sum would be one plus one plus one plus one, which is well, four, okay? So yeah, that's gonna be our upper bound value. Okay, so you can kind of see that there is a boundary, right, between one to nine. So to make this a little bit more efficient, instead of looking for each and every value, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, instead of doing that, 
we can actually selectively choose which values we want to find. So let's say we start off at the very middle. So in this case, let's say we start off with five and that actually ends up giving us our answer, but let's just kind of generalize it. So we're going to start off at the middle of our boundary. Now, in this case, we're going to get some sort of answer. And if that answer is greater than our threshold, then in that case, we want to look for a smaller sum. And when that happens, what we're going to do is we're going to move our left or our lower point bound value to the right. And the reason we're doing that is because when the threshold or the value that we end up outputting is bigger than the threshold, that means that we have a smaller divisor and we want a bigger divisor. And if the case is the other way around, so let's say the value we've got is too small, then in that case, that means we're looking for a smaller divisor. And in that case, what's going to happen is we're going to move our right pointer to the left. So we uh, only look at the smaller values. So uh, you can kind of understand what we're really doing is a binary search because we have a sorted list of numbers and we're just going to try to search for the best possible divisor. So now all we need to do is kind of implement it and see how it actually works. All right, so let's start off by actually defining our two pointers. So we're going to have a left pointer and we're going to have a right pointer. So the left pointer is going to be the lower bound value. So the lower bound value over here is going to be one. And the upper bound value, like I said, is going to be the maximum number inside of nums. Okay, so we have our two boundaries now. So now we're going to go inside of a while loop. So what we're going to be doing over here is we're going to be going inside of this while loop as long as left is less than or equal to our right value. The second the left value becomes greater than our right value, that means that we have found our answer and we can stop. All right, so the first thing that we want to do over here is we actually want to find out what the middle value is. So to find out what the middle value is, what we're going to do is we're going to take our left pointer, so the left boundary, we're going to add that with our right boundary and we're going to divide it by two. But one thing that we want to do over here is we're actually going to end up doing integer division because we want an integer value and we don't want a decimal. Okay, so now we have an integer value which we are considering to be our midpoint. So now whatever the midpoint stands for, so the mid value that we have over here, it's nothing else but the divisor. But we didn't get an answer yet. So now we actually want to come up with an answer. So how exactly do we come up with an answer? So to actually come up with the answer, first, we divide each of the things inside of our array nums by the mid value, and then we want to add them all up. So let's see how we can do that. So we're going to be using sum, and over here, we'll be using comprehension to actually get that done. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a number, and uh, we'll, so the num, and we're going to divide our number by the mid value. So now, how do we get our number? So to get our number, we'll do for num, and we're going to get it from our nums array. Okay, so one thing that is wrong over here, or not wrong, but we need to change is when you do num divided by mid, we might actually end up with the decimal value. But we are only looking for uh, integer values. And even if it does end up becoming a decimal value, we're going to round it up. So since we're going to be rounding it up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calling math.ceiling. So that, that way, we're just basically rounding it up. So math.seal, and what that does, it's going to round up our value. All right, so now over here, we found the sum. So we want to check whether the mid value is actually where it's supposed to be or not. So to do that, all we need to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to put it inside of a condition. So if whatever this value ends up equaling, if it is greater than the threshold value, which we have over here, then in that case, that means that our value is too big. And since it is too big, that means that we're going to be looking for larger divisors, okay? We want, we're looking for a larger divisor. And since we want a larger divisor, we're gonna change our lower bound to be equal to mid plus one, all right? So now we're only looking at the bigger values, okay? And we're not gonna be looking at any of the smaller values. So this is that case. And another condition that we have is what if this over here is a less than the threshold? So if it is less than our threshold, then in that case, what's going to end up happening, that means that we want to look at the smaller divisors. So we're going to move our right bound and our right value is now going to be equal to mid minus one. All right. And that should be it. So by the ending of this, we're going to get our answer. And the answer is actually going to be at whatever our left pointer is. And that's exactly what we're going to end up returning. We're going to end up re returning our left pointer or the lower bound.
So let's submit this. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.